Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I'm talking millionaire marketing. What is millionaire marketing? If you think of the millionaire brands that you buy products from and you follow and you watch those people, the millionaires and the billionaires, they are so effective at storytelling. They tell these amazing stories, these inspiring journeys that take us on a road. And for you, it's also about going on that journey with them. But how can you take their secrets, that way of working, and tell your own inspiring stories? If you like this video and if you like my channel, I would love you to subscribe. I share lots of information on storytelling, on videos, on production, and also on other tips to help you write better stories and get visible. <music> Welcome back. We are talking millionaire marketing, the secrets of millionaires and how do they do what they do to inspire others and build million and billion dollar companies. Tip one, inspire Hollywood style. The Gandhi brothers were two young boys who were orphaned in the 2004 Asian tsunami. They lost their parents and as young boys, they made a decision they wanted to help the other kids who'd also been orphaned along the way. And they built a flip-flop company that has grown into a multi-million pound company. It has really enabled them to set up their social enterprise and build orphanages around the world and spread their message. I walked past their shop that was opening in Camden in London. And you know, it's like another clothing store. I walked past and I just thought it was another clothing, clothing store. And then when the store had finished and the, the, the shop fitters had been in and the, um, they started styling the shop, I noticed that out of the backpacks, there was a book and it was about inspiring travel. And I thought, oh, what's that book? That appealed to me. So the clothes didn't appeal. It was a men's clothing shop, but the book did. So I went in, I looked at the book, I bought the book and it was their story that they'd written into a book that they popped into their backpacks. And so suddenly I find myself going from like, oh, they're interesting, I like what they're doing, to buying their products. I bought their book, I bought their backpack, and suddenly I've bought into, I'm a 40-something year old woman, but I bought into something that's for millennial men. It can be a way where by telling a story you inspire others and get them to buy into your concept. And they've done that so powerfully. So whatever your story is, Obviously that was a really dramatic story, but whatever your story is, get people to buy into your story and buy into you. Step two, share insider secrets. I used to be a news editor for a big TV organization and I ran the China Bureau. And we would interview Chinese millionaires and billionaires. And our most successful episodes that we would ever do were with and I was not a business reporter per se, but I would do these reports with people where I would be interviewing people like Jack Ma, who set up Alibaba, and they were our most downloaded programs. Why? Because people love inspiring stories. They love seeing behind the scenes and they love to know how they got successful, how they did those things to be successful. So share your story of how you got to be successful and how you do the things that you do. Take us behind the scenes. Take us on your journey so that we see what you do. Step three, be naughty. I love this. Richard Branson is a multi-billionaire but he's always been naughty and cheeky and saucy. And by not sticking to the rules, by not being the conventional CEO, he has taken us on a journey where we think we like him. He's the kind of bloke that you'd like to have for a dinner party. And so that's the thing, he's full of adventurous stories. So whatever you do, take people on a journey, but be fun. You don't have to be perfect in your branding. He says you don't have to be perfect. I have a quote for you from Richard Branson that I'm just going to read you because it's so great. Too many companies want their brands to reflect some idealized, perfected image of themselves. As a consequence, their brands acquire no texture, no character, and no public trust. 
So you don't have to be perfect. You can absolutely be deliberately vulnerable and have issues, have problems, share the tech issues you had and explain how you got out of them. By being open, by being honest about your journey, people are much more likely to warm to you and be part of your tribe. Jeff Bezos from Amazon has been an innovator from when he first started to now. When he started his business, he really did something revolutionary by launching the affiliate scheme. So by getting lots of blogs to include the Amazon links, the bloggers made money, but also it meant that his, his website was everywhere. So it showed up really high in Google rankings. It also meant that it was on everybody's go-to place. And for me today, Google is often you know, where I'll go to search for things, but Amazon is where I go to buy things. And I'm sure it's the same for you too. So whatever that may be, think about that in everything you do. Be prepared to innovate and do something different. Because when you shock and when you innovate, that's when the magic happens and you can be a true leader in what you do. Step five, talk about your struggles. Be prepared to talk about your struggles. Carrie Green does this magnificently with her business and her book. Her book is She Means Business. I'll put it in the link below. But that book is really her journey of being an entrepreneur and setting up her business and the struggles that she faced. And she turned it into a best-selling book. So share your struggle, share your journey, and people will relate to it. And when people are able to relate to it, that's when the magic happens. I hope you found these tips useful. I'd love to see you around again. Please subscribe to my channel and there'll be more information just like this. Thank you.